That's she must be very tolerant. Yes. Yeah, um, whenever you were on Marin, which was a great interview, did you love oh, doing thank- his show? It was great. He was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome to do. And um, he 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 asked you if when you worked out a lot, if it was out of anger. And I mm-hmm. wondered, like, first of all, are you angry? No. In fact, oh. no. I never. I hope my answer to him that day was no. I don't think it's. I've never done anything out of anger. Um, no, I'm actually not at all. Okay. Just happy, happy, happy. Okay, so he was off the off the mark. On he might have thought. Well, no, that was his question. Maybe he might have asked, wondered if I was, because I, you know, did I get picked on all the time? I'm gonna go to the gym and take yeah. it out uh, weights. No, I don't. No, you no. do you see a therapist or what? <laughs> no, but after this interview, I think. I'm, <laughs> yeah, no, I. Don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I I don't know how I scammed your lovely. Um, I I think she's your publicist, Molly, into. Letting me talk to you, but I no, really—that's fine. It's great. Um, okay, wait. Therapy. I don't think I need therapy. I mean, I've—I've I've always wanted. People always ask me that, you know, and I get that question a lot too. Oh. After the Robin Williams thing oh. uh, happened, they, everyone, everyone would come to me or like literally and say, "Are you sad? Are you yeah. having those? You know, are you like him? Are you?" And I'm like, "No, I don't think every comic is depressed and sad." <laughs> well, there is that perception is like tears of a clown and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch yeah. the clown reference. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> But I mean, that's something people wonder, like, how can you be so funny all the time? There must be a hidden dark side. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think there is. I mean, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a coming down from a show that, that happens a lot. You know, when you have a show and you have all this energy and these people are screaming and having fun and you get in the car and you go home and it's dead quiet. You go from, yeah. that's, that's kind of hard to, sometimes to, come, to transition, to come down. You know, you have, that, you have all that love and all that, and then you're by yourself in a room, so... Yeah, and I suppose you could talk to your friend Vince Neil about that because I'm sure it's the same for a rock and roll guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially rock and roll, they have the, all these people screaming, and then they yeah. get on the tour bus and they're by themselves watching TV and you know whatever. So why do you think people are so interested in how you look? That's usually reserved for female comics. <laughs> it is true, <laughs> right? I don't know. Yeah, people are always concerned about What's that. What's that about? I don't know. Because you're, because most of them aren't cute, or what? I don't know. I did, a, yeah, I did, I did a, <laughs> I did a, uh, a roast one time. I forget not who it was. It was either Flavor Flav, I think maybe. And then all the comics were giving me a hard time, and, and I remember it was my turn to go up there, and I said, you know, sorry that I, I that I look good. I'm sorry you guys are all out of shape and you don't <laughs> take care of yourselves. Right, because that is typically they're not exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but people, people do have a tendency to want to worry about my. I guess that's with anybody. It's a compliment, though, right? I yeah, I guess sure. Tell me about the meet and greets that you do. Yeah, it's fun actually. I like doing this. It's been you know on the road when I used to do it all the time. It was easier because we'd, we'd always have them. But at the Luxor, we didn't, we coun't find a place to do it. Oh. And we finally found a little area we could do it before the show. So now we've been, we've been doing it. And it's great. You get to get feedback from. All your fans or people that don't know. I get a lot of people that, that come to the show and, and I meet them before the show at the meet greet. They're like, I've never been to your show, so here we are. So, you know. So what do they usually w- want to know from you? What do people want to know? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, probably the same the, the same questions that everybody asks, you know. But, you, know <laughs> you have a girlfriend or, you know, what do you what do you do after your show? What do you do, you know? Can yes. I come, can I come back, you know, after the show and hang oh, out with no. you? Know, so. Um. But yeah, mostly just uh, general well, questions. Well, because you're kind of mysterious. Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> do you think that you are or not? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I don't I don't think I'm mysterious at all. Actually, yeah. What? Maybe, well, maybe just because I'm not out there all the time. Like you know, you never hear about me getting in trouble or doing anything because yeah. I don't like, you know. So. Well, and you don't. You never bred. You don't have children. You yeah, no children. You and know. so, and you have this girlfriend but you've never had a wedding so you're never in like the wedding, people yeah. magazine for those like life moments yeah yeah they they but they they i'm in those magazines but they're always picking on me they're like look at his eyebrows or something stupid you know they do yeah they, there's always something about you know making fun of my like you said earlier my appearance They'll when's say, the last time you, eyebrows you cut that mop and I went to, I went to Howard Stern, and the first thing Howard Stern said to me was, <laughs> you look normal to me. Why does everybody give you a hard time? You have beautiful eyebrows. They look normal. Yeah. He, no. He's looking at me. He's like, you look like a normal person. Why did you? <laughs> I said, I don't know. What would it take for you to, like, cut off your hair? Oh, all of it? Yeah. All of it? Well. You know, to do, like, a nine-to-five cut. Yeah, no, that, that's not going to probably happen, yeah. I mean, wait, wait. people always ask me what I do that for a movie, and I said, well, nowadays they just have these, they just put you know they just put wigs on you, so yeah. you don't have to worry about cutting your hair. When you were on Oprah, I saw all those products you used. Do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, is it a real production? What, yeah. 
Really? No, no, it's it's let's wake and it's just look, it's just wake and shake and go. I really, but I really thought you used all those things. No, I do, I do. Oh, okay, okay, because curly hair is hard to manage. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all this. Uh, yeah, I am a woman in a sense. <laughs> when it comes to all the props and products, I'm like, yes, I have tons of stuff in my hair every day, and wow, yeah. yeah. Um, here's what I want to know about your Twitter life. Yeah. You never favored anything. No. No, I don't think so. Like when I looked at, you know, you follow a few people, but you don't favorite stuff. Oh, maybe I should do that. <laughs> well, well, you know, I, again, I'm not kidding. I just got into, I just got into Twitter. Oh, okay. Because so, I'm behind, I'm old, you know. So I just got into all this technology stuff. So I just started, I just literally just, I just tweeted something a minute ago. I was out in my yard. and, and I saw the roses. They're yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and I said, I said, I might have orange hair, but I have a green thumb. So I'm showing, trying to get, you know, show people that. So, yeah, but I have to learn how to favor things. Yeah, fa and follow somebody. Follow, yeah, follow some people. I'm I a laugh a minute on there. Yeah, I, Ask well, I'm gonna Molly. Follow you. I'm going to follow you. That's how I love about you. She said you're hilarious. I'm pretty funny. I'm not yeah. going to. I'm not gonna lie about it, but I'm no carrot top for Pete's sake. Well, I'm gonna follow you when I get when I get up with, when I get done with this. I'm gonna go click on you. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna follow you. See, it's all worth it. What if I didn't even have a podcast? I just pretend so that yeah, I can that'd be get, hilarious. Like, carrot top to follow yeah. me, Molly suckered in. Yeah. Okay, wait. I have a why. One last question. Okay. What do you keep in the trunk of your car, carrot top? In the trunk of my car? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What uh, kind of car do you have? Something fancy. I have a, yeah, I have a fancy truck. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Okay, like, and what do you keep? Like it looks like a milk truck. It's a Mercedes uh, G-Wagon. Oh, you know? those are so nice. They're okay. Cool. What do you keep it in the back there? My gym bag and a pair of shoes and a little zip-up jacket and uh, a couple dead bodies. <laughs> and, uh, For emergencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Do you have, like, reusable bags or anything? Have what? Reusable bags or... Reusable like, or bags? props. Most people no, have reusable have bags in there. Like for go, you there. probably don't go to the grocery store. Most of us do. I do. I go to Whole Foods and get my juices and my yes. Oh yeah. Okay. My tuna fish. Well, and your girlfriend doesn't she cook? Yes, she's a great cook. She's a chef. Yeah, so I get yeah. I get awesome meals every night. I bet you do. Yeah, she's great. I followed her on Instagram too. Oh, she's you? adorable. Yeah. Yeah, she seems like a nice girl. She's very sweet. Um. Yeah, so you don't keep anything else back there. It's kind of nothing really. Nothing carrot toppy. No, no, nothing carrot toppy. Because my theory is that it tells a lot about who you are as a person. Oh, really? Yeah, what you keep. But, but I don't have any carrot toppy stuff in my house. In my house too, I don't have any carrot top stuff in my house. Hmm, maybe you actually are boring. I am. You I, keep my, my, saying my, that. No one my believes. Back, my backstage uh, is all carrot, like crazy stuff. All my thirty yeah. years of. of collecting and comedy stuff and, and props and gadgets and lights and fun. But my house is just, honestly, yeah, it's a normal house. I don't have any carrot top yeah. stuff around. There's not really a carrot top picture or poster here. Maybe that's it. Maybe you compartmentalize and keep sanity. Yeah, where yeah I like my job is when I go down there, I'm carrot top. When I come home here, I'm Scott. Yeah. yeah. Well, I am it's sure lucky to get to talk to you. And I look forward to someday seeing your show. I would love that. Yeah, I got to come. I follow you. Yeah, follow me, and I really want you to do a reality show. You got to think about it. I'll think about it. Thank you for coming on the Meisterpiece, Scott. Nice. Thank you very much. Talk Susie. to you soon. Yeah, have a great, have a great day. day. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are out of shape and you don't take care of yourself. <laughs> right, because that is typically they're not exactly. Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't people. know, but people people do have a tendency to want to worry about my. I guess that's with anybody. It's a compliment, though, right? I yeah I guess sure. Tell me about the meet and greets that you do. Yeah, it's fun actually. I like doing this. It's been you know on the road when I used to do it all the time. It was easier because we'd, we'd always have them. But at the Luxor, we didn't we couldn't find a place to do it. Oh. And we finally found a little area we could do it before the show. So now we've been we've been doing it. And it's great. You get to get feedback from all your fans or people that don't know. I get a lot of people that, that come to the show and, and I meet them before the show at the meet and greet. They're like. Mm -hmm. I've never been to your show, so here we are. So you know. So what do they usually w want to know from you? What do people want to know? Oh my goodness! Yeah, probably the same. The, the same questions that everybody asks. You know, <laughs> but, you know, you have a girlfriend, or you know, what do you what do you do after your show? What do you do? You know, can yes. I come, can I come back? You know, after the show and hang oh, out with no. you. Know, so. Um, but yeah, mostly just uh, general well, questions. Well, because you're kind of mysterious. Yeah. Do you think? <laughs> do you think that you are or not? 
Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I don't I don't think I'm mysterious at all actually. Yeah. What? Maybe, well, maybe just because I'm not out depressed inside. <laughs> well, there is that perception is like tears of a clown and yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Watch yeah. the clown reference. Oh right, sorry. But I mean, it's something people wonder like, how can you be so funny all the time? There must be a hidden dark side. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think there is. I mean, there, there's a there's a there's a coming down from a show. That, that happens a lot. You know, when you have a show and you have all this energy and these people are screaming and having fun and you get in the car and you go home and it's dead quiet. You go from, yeah. that's that's kind of hard to sometimes to come to transition, to come down. You know, you have, that, you have all that love and all that, and then you're by yourself in a room, so. Yeah, and I suppose you could talk to your friend Vince Neil about that because I'm sure it's the same for a rock and roll guy. Yeah, 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 especially rock and roll. They have the, all these people screaming. And then they get on the tour bus and they're by themselves watching TV and, you know, whatever. So, Why do you think people are so interested in how you look? That's usually reserved for female comics. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right? I don't know. Yeah, people are always concerned about that. What's that, that about? I don't know. Because you're because most of them aren't cute or what? I don't know. I did it. Yeah, I did. I did a. <laughs> I did a uh, a roast one time. I forget not who it was. It was either Flavor Flav, I think maybe. And then all the comics would give me a hard time, and, and I remember it was my turn to go up there, and I said, you know, sorry that I that I look good. That's, she must be very tolerant. Yeah, she's um, good. Whenever you were on Marin, which was a great interview, did you oh, love doing you. his show? It was great. He was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome to do. And um, he, he he asked you if when you worked out a lot, if it was out of anger. And I mm. wondered, like, first of all, are you angry? No. In fact, oh. never, no, I never, I hope my answer to him that day was no. I don't think it's, I've never done anything out of anger. Um, no, I'm actually not at all. Okay. Just happy, happy, happy. Okay, so he was off the off the mark. On he might have thought. Well, no, that was his question. Maybe he might have asked, wondered if I was, because I, you know, did I get picked on all the time? I'm gonna go to the gym and ah, take yeah. it out. Uh, Weights? No, I don't. No, you no. do you see a therapist or what? <laughs> no, but after this interview, I think. I'm, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I I don't know how I scammed your lovely. Um, I I think she's your publicist, Molly, into. Letting me talk to you, but I no, really... fine. It's great. Um, okay, wait. Therapy. I don't think I need therapy. I mean, I've I've always wanted. People always ask me that, you know, and I get that question a lot too. Oh. After the Robin Williams thing oh. uh, happened, they, everyone everyone would come to me or like literally and say, "Are you sad? Are you yeah are you having those? You know, are you like him? Are you?" And I'm like, "No, I don't think every comic is there all the time. Like, you know, you never hear about me getting in trouble or doing anything because yeah. I don't, really, you know." So well, and you don't. You'd never bred. You don't have. Children, you yeah, know, children, you and know. so, and you have this girlfriend, but you've never had a wedding, so you're never in like a wedding, People yeah. magazine for those like life moments. Yeah, yeah, they, they, but they, they, I'm in those magazines, but they're always picking on me. They're like, look at his eyebrows or something stupid, you know. They do. Yeah, they, there's always something about you know making fun of my, like you said earlier, my appearance. They'll When's say, the last time you, eyebrows you cut that mop? And I went, to, I went to Howard Stern, and the first thing Howard Stern said to me was, <laughs> you look normal to me. Why does everybody give you a hard time? You have beautiful eyebrows. They look normal. Yeah. Like, no. He's looking at me. He's like, you look like a normal person. Why <laughs> I, get to... I, said, I don't know. What would it take for you to, like, cut off your hair? Oh, all of it? Yeah. All of it? Well. You know, to do, like, a nine-to-five cut. Yeah, no, that, that's not going to probably happen, yeah. I mean, wait, wait. people always ask me what I do that for a movie, and I said, well, nowadays they just have these, they just put you know they just put wigs on you, so yeah. you don't have to worry about cutting your hair. When you were on Oprah, I saw all those products you used. Do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, is it a real production? Wait, yeah. Really? No, no. It's it's let's wake and it's just look. It's just wake and shake and go. I really, but I really thought you used all those things. No, I do. I do. Oh, okay, okay. Because curly hair is hard to manage. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all this. Yeah, I am a woman in a sense. <laughs> When it comes to all the props and products, I'd like, yes. I have tons of stuff in my hair every day. And, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, here's what I want to know about your Twitter life. Yeah. You never favored anything. No? No, I don't think so. Like when I looked at, you know, you follow a few people, but you don't favorite stuff. Oh, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Well, well, you know, I, again, I'm not kidding. I just got into I just got into Twitter. Oh, okay. So because I'm behind, I'm old, you know. So I just got into all this technology stuff. So I just started. I just literally just I just tweeted something a minute ago. I was out in my yard and, and I saw the roses. They're yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and I said I said I might have orange hair, but I have a green thumb. So I'm showing, trying to get you know, show people that. So yeah, but I have to learn how to favor things. Yeah, and follow somebody. Follow yeah, follow some people. I'm I, a laugh a minute on there. Yeah, I, Ask well, I'm gonna Molly. Follow you. I'm going to follow you. That's how I know about you. She said you're hilarious. I'm pretty funny. I'm yeah. not going to. 
I'm not gonna lie about it, but I'm no carrot top for Pete's sake. Well, I'm gonna follow you when I get when I get up with, when I get done with this. I'm gonna go click on you. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna follow you. See, it's all worth it. What if I didn't even have a podcast? I just pretend so that. Yeah, I can that'd be hilarious. 